Wyoming's new medium correctional institution is something the state has never seen before. The building is equipped with everything from dental to dialysis, but although the perks sound like a lenient way to spend a sentence, the process is strict. There are programs and educational services that are designed to help maximize their chances of becoming good citizens when they get released into the community into the future. The bottom line is that if we don't address the, the criminogenic risks and needs that lead people to prison, is that they'll be back. One out of every 100 people in the nation is behind bars, with the return rate at almost 40 percent and growing. But this new facility is designed to reduce the return rate with hopes of eventually eliminating the rising repeat offender trend. How many decisions once somebody leaves here are they forced to make that they haven't made for many years? That's why it's important that we train them when they're here. We train them for release. If we just give them a bus ticket and a boot out the door and don't connect them to the right connections in the community to follow up on that, then their chances of failure are increased. After the inmate has turned in his or her civilian clothes, they are taken to a cell and given a set of sheets, two blankets, and a few other personal items, including a uniform just like this one made by inmates at other prisons. At the new facility, inmates are required to earn their GED while working a job. If you can't do both, privileges are taken away and the offender is sent to the state penitentiary in Rollins. I'm hoping that this facility serves as much as a rehabilitation center as it does a prison. Inmates can go out and not come back to prison. This makes for safer communities, it saves the taxpayer dollars, and um, really uh, changes lives. It costs the state $45,000 a year to house one prisoner, so the entire facility is designed to encourage inmates to get out and stay out. The beds are made of unmoldable plastic. Although there are televisions, the guards choose the channels and the volume. And the biggest incentive, there is absolutely no privacy. The loss of privacy, the loss of freedom is a, is a very um, big motivator for people to get out of this situation. It's a very pretty building, but it still is a prison. The new approach will also help inmates with the re-entry process once released on parole. When somebody leaves prison, they already have community contacts in regards to the, to the kind of things that they need for aftercare. Every inmate will have a job lined up. It won't happen right away, but eventually I think uh, uh, getting inmates uh, a job, getting them employed is going to make a big impact on whether or not they come back to prison. The prison is expected to have nearly all of its 700 beds filled by March. The 500 plus inmates currently dispersed in other states will be transferred to the Medium Correctional Institution in a matter of weeks. In Torrington, Katherine Johnson, CBS News Channel 5. Wyoming's new Medium Security Correctional Institution is open for tours and expected to begin transferring Wyoming inmates from prisons throughout the country in just a few weeks. Although some community members are slightly skeptical of the new facility being located in quiet Torrington, population just 5,700, most are excited about what the 350 new jobs could add to the area. It's a good deal for the community, good for the state. We have to have some place to help our people who had problems get back on their feet and hopefully stay out of prison when they get done. Wyoming's new correctional facility is built to do just that. It's designed to help inmates learn and grow from mistakes, but it's also already helping people from throughout the country recover in a different way. I worked 20 years at Chrysler, and I was a design supervisor for Jeep Chassis for the last 20 years. New guards, just like Rowley, have uprooted their families for a job. There were no jobs left in Michigan. Michigan's pretty decimated with the economy. Out of the 350 new hires working in the prison, 70 come from Michigan alone. The rest of the staff is made up of employees from 22 other states. It's given the opportunity for some of those people, and they need it. Goshen County and Torrington being a mainly an agricultural community, uh, this allowed us to have a, a base of new jobs for our community and uh, uh, give us a higher echelon of jobs that we just didn't have in the past. I still have a lot of contact with my friends back home and it's gloom and doom every day. You know, they're really struggling to, to get to the next day, you know, so this, this is nice. When other states are closing their doors to employees, Wyoming is still looking to hire. I was driving by 
one of the local hotels and I saw a little banner up there saying Wyoming, looking for you know, jobs in Wyoming. Better than 40% of the population is over 55. And to see these young families coming into Torrington, that's also another boost for our community. Locals say although they're glad Wyoming is still creating jobs, the best part is some of the hires are local. Let's hope everything stays stable, maybe some growth. Emphasizing the desire for Torrington to keep its small town charm. Our community has been very stable for 30 years, so we need to have an influx in population in order to get the business growth that we need. It's good for people that live here and plus those that come in. The feeling is mutual. We love Wyoming. We plan on you know, staying for quite some time. Torrington Mayor Leroy Schaefer adds this influx should also help the community economically. For the past few years, Torrington has had some housing troubles, unable to fill all the empty apartments and homes. He says he's already seeing those numbers go down.